and welcome to my channel, y'all. I read on the internet that October 2nd is National or World Card Making Day. So tonight I'm going to just play around and make a couple of cards with my Halloween prints that I have. I'm going to be using um, Ghost Town um, by um, Doodlebug, which is this super, super cute. Got these super cute cut up hearts. And I have uh, all the ephemera that I had purchased to go with this collection. I poured them all in here so I could see better what I've got. And I've got some solid card stock. I've got some black envelopes. Now, these cards and envelopes, I got them at Michael's, but they only came like a postcard. So I'm not going to use those, or I might use these as far as like cutting it down to layer things with, but I wanted it to be like a normal card. So I've went ahead and I have cut down some of my eight and a half by 11 paper so I could make it a folding card. So let's just get going on the first card. So I thought what I would do, and of course I'm going to do tons of layering up. So I went ahead and I've cut some strips of paper here. So let me see if I can change this. Let's get the prettier one on here. This one I don't like to glue on. I tried to keep it, I tried to keep it um, as clean as I can. So there we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, get my pumpkins over here. As y'all see, they're flashing. Look at that. So anyway, let's get going on this super cute card. So what I did is I took a piece of five, uh, eight and a half by 11. I cut it at seven inches across and 10 inches long and I folded in half or scored at five. So I just folded mine. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a lot of layering up on, a, on here. I want it to be a super fun little card and I want it to be have extra colors and stuff. And so I'm gonna do some purple, some white, I have this that came in the collection, isn't that just darling? And then I'm gonna add some black glitter and then some cut aparts, and this is gonna be cute. So, if y'all wanna make a card along with me, stop the video right now and go get yourself some, some supplies and let's, let's just make some fun cards. Okay, so for my, for my first piece, I've already cut it. Oh, and look at that. Let me grab some tape, y'all. There we go. Got some tape in there now. Now, let's just, we're going to be in business. Okay. So I'm going to add ample tape. Make sure you get that tape along the edges. So I had no clue that it was... Um, let me see if I, I was supposed to have the white on there first. Or was I? Ha I was having the purple. Okay. So, um, I had no clue that it was a National Card Making Day or World Card Making Day on the 2nd of October. And so, I decided, you know what? Let's see. How, let's make some cards. It's so much fun. Just something simple. You don't have to be all fancy. So, I'm adding my layer of purple. And then I'm going to add some white. And what I did is I went ahead and just pre-measured it. And I, what I do is I just bring it up and I measure it the length I want and I cut. So let me grab this one. Add my tape. You can use glue if you want. I'm just going to use some double-sided for right now. get that down and look at that I didn't leave very much purple up there I don't like that so I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna try to get this down again because I want it to be where you could see the purple now I know it's a little wrinkled at the moment but it's all good I'll just it's going to be covered up anyway, so I'm just going to go with it. That's going to be good. Okay, I've got the white. Now I think it would be nice to add this one right here on the on the top. 
It would even be nice if you added a little black behind the white because of the color. Um, but I think that I'll go with, I think I'll just leave it white. I'm gonna look through my paper here. I saw one more paper and it's got, um, let me see if I've got some with, I thought I saw with with like a gray with the spiders. And let me see how that would look. So, oh, I see it. Here it is, right here. Sorry for my arm, y'all. See, let me try to see what this one would look like. So if I went with the white overlay or if I went with the gray, but then I want to use this sweet thing. And I think, you know what, I think I'm going to stick with the white. Should I just stick with what I wanted to in the beginning? Don't you love this too? Oh, I love that so much. Okay, I'm going to add some tape on the back here. And I think something's going on with my tape gun here. My little tape here. Sometimes it gets a little stuck on me. Okay. Now let's see how that's going to work. There we go. Sometimes these little tape dispensers have minds of their own. Okay, let's get this. Now if you're using directional print, make sure you're putting it the way it should go. Okay, there we go, and it's already feeling so thick because of all the layering on it. Now, I like I said, I want to use this super cute little guy. He's got a spider costume. I've got a couple of these cute little spiders that would be cute hanging down. Oh, let's just go through it. Let's see what we got here. We have... Let's see. All the little balloons are cute. But we'll have them on the next one. I just kind of wanted to have this have this simple looking at the card. So I just want to see. Okay. Y'all, you know my brother, my brother Danny over on his channel. Well, he his birthday is on Halloween. My brother is a goblin. Okay, so I think I'm just going to add this on here. It'll give it a little something. So we don't want to cover up the whole beautiful paper here. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to use my pen. And I'm just going to measure it where it's at length, where it's the length of the cute spider web paper. Okay. get that and y'all I just realized something that the spiders I put them upside down look I have to have it that way because of the way it opens I don't know since I already got that down pretty well I think I'm just gonna leave it it'll be all good I think a lot of it's gonna get covered up anyway okay so I think I'm gonna add this as a strip right here so I'm gonna add some tape on the back of this one Tape. Now this is some glittery paper and actually it is, let me see if I can grab it. Sorry for my squeaky chair, y'all. I'm just going to grab it. It's from this paper pad right here. I got it at, um, a couple of weeks ago at uh, Michael's. So I'm just going to kind of line this up. Look at that. I tell you to make sure you be careful of the directional paper and then I put my spiders upside down. Okay, I got this a little off-center, so I'm going to peel it up and fix it. But I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave the spiders. They're okay. I would end up just sending this, like, to, like, a sibling or something anyway. Yes, uh, my brother, 
he okay so let me just tell you this let me tell you a story about my brother okay that looks pretty good. Let me get that all pressed down really well. I wish this little paper pad had some purple, but it doesn't. But I know, I know. So I'm just playing, y'all. That's what I'm doing. I'm just playing. Because, again, I want to put this guy on here. I want to use a sweet little cut apart. I think the Bugs and Kisses is super darling. That one is so cute. Let me cut that one. Because I need to see where I want to put him. Put that one. How cute is it? Oh my goodness, y'all. Doodlebug makes the cutest, cutest, cutest papers. We're going to get the bugs and kisses. I could send this one to one of my sisters or my brother, or I could send it to one of my grandkids. That's what I might do. Bugs and kisses is going to go on here. This one is going to go here. And let me see what I've got on my sticker sheets here. Okay. I have, you know what I have? This one right here has got purple. See this sticker? So, you know, a lot of times we kind of forget about some of these little sticker things. Let me pull it off and I want to see how it would actually look. I just want to see what it's going to look like here. That might be okay. Or let me try out this other one. Because sometimes we for, kind of forget about these little strips of sticker at the bottom of our sticker sheets. Do y'all use up your... Okay, so I think, let me see, I think maybe putting it up above is going to be super cute. Just add a little something so you've layered up and you've used things in your paper collection that maybe you didn't, don't always use. Okay, I'm going to grab, I have to grab some art glitter glue here. I have a new one. I have not opened it yet. So let me take this one out. Okay. There's nothing better than the brand new thing of glue, y'all. Okay. I'm going to add a little glue just on the back. I'm going to try not to squeeze too much. So, are you going to make any cards for the for the World Card Making Day? If you are, tell me about it. Okay, I got to get my tip on there because I really loaded up that glue and I've made a mess. But good news, it's going to dry clear, so I'm not. I'm going to be hopeful. Okay, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to let it dry because it'll be clear. But I wanted to get that down there. I think it would be so pretty. And I wished I had enough for the bottom. But I don't. So, I really want this guy right here to go here. And let me get my tip on really fast, y'all. Gotta have my tip. Or else it'll be uh, giving me too much glue. This is just a craft with me, y'all. That's what it is. And this is what happens when you're just crafting. Okay. Get this on. Don't y'all just love a new tip? Oh, my. I do. 
There we go, we're in business. Okay, so I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna keep my pen in a safe place. Okay, so I think I really want my guy right here. This little guy is so cute. I really want him, but I think that he needs to be popped up on some foam. So let's see if I can pop him up on some foam. If you don't have any foam, just use what you've got. If you don't have a special collection like this, use what you have. Do you know how easy it'd be to make little ghosts? Something Halloween, something fun and cute. And okay, so let's see. I think this guy is gonna go here. I'm gonna put this one here. Or actually, let me see how that's going to look if I did this right over here. I think that would be super cute. Let me layer that one up. And I think that that one needs some white. So just kind of look at your projects and see what colors you need. So I'm going to get... i got some scraps of white over here. And I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to add some glue on the back of this. And I'm going to position it. Where I want it. And then I'm going to get that, get that here and I'm going to get it trimmed up. Okay. Oh, y'all. Tomorrow is Friday and next week I work from home. I am so excited to be working back at home next week. I just love it. So I don't have to wake up as early. I like to be able to sleep till at least six. Okay, I'm trying to make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out, I want this little guy here. I think I want the bugs and kisses here. And I think I want this guy right here. And I think that that is so cute. Let's get this one down first. I think I'm going to put it like about right here. And then I think this little guy should go right here. It's so stinking cute. And get a hold of that tape. I'm sure you guys, I mean, you I mean, you see my hands whenever we're doing this. I am not a long fingernail person. Never have I ever been. Whenever my granddaughter got married, um, I mean, when my daughter got married, I put acrylic nails, make them look all pretty as mother of the bride. The minute the wedding was over, that's it. And so let me tell you that story about my brother. So my brother... Um, he's my youngest brother. There are, I have four older siblings, four sisters, and then I have my brother, which my brother and I are the ones that kind of grew up together. My siblings, my sisters, they were all older than us. Um, so anyway, and that looks so cute already. Isn't that just so darling? I just love that. I want to use these, these little guys right here. Maybe one over here. I think that would be so cute. So anyway, but yeah, my mom... Um, when she was supposed to have my brother in August. And maybe the doctor might have um, miscalculated the due date. I don't know. But um, my in 1969, uh, we lived in Mississippi. And um, my, uh, my parents and all that where we were living, they, we were pretty close to the Gulf Coast. And uh, anyway, Hurricane Camille came along. And my mother was huge pregnant. And the doctor said at that time, you know, that um, my that my mom probably kind of kind of spooked her a little bit. So my brother, he was not born until Halloween night. Can you believe that? He was originally, from what the doctor said, he was supposed to be he was supposed to be born on on uh, in the end of August. And 
Maybe they miscalculated the due date, but my brother, he came on Halloween. Yep, that's the story. This, turn, this is so cute. Just cute and simple. And look how just darling this is. Oh my goodness. It'd be cute if you put a little string right here and had it, had it hanging down. If I would have put the string before I put the paper. But anyway, this is one card. Let's see if we can make one, another one really fast. Okay, so let's get going on our second card. I went ahead. I've got myself a piece of black paper. Again, this one is 7 inches across by 10. And I just fold it in half. And then I pressed it down really, really well. I think I want to use this paper for this one. And I thought green would be, be just beautiful behind there. So I'm going to do green. And I think this time, instead of using my tape, I'm just going to use glue. Since I got my glue out here ready to roll, might as well use it. And the one thing about using glue is you have a little wiggle room if you want to move things around just a little bit. I think I need to move it just a little bit. Just want to make sure that it goes in the middle. Oh my goodness, I talked to my brother and he was so excited that I got the Happy Mail from Lottie from little Lottie. She's got, she is like, what, three and a half, maybe clo getting close to four months old. She is so big. She's going to be huge. But anyway, he was very proud that I got it. And yeah, I just, I was grateful. And from what I understand, he told me that they videoed uh, they videoed making the Happy Meal with their dog. So, watch out for that video because that one might be a good one to good one to to watch. Okay, I'm gonna add this one on. Doesn't that green look good behind it? I love that. Now, of course, you know I always like a strip of something going down my card. So I think for this one, I might do, um, you know, I kind of like this one right here. And I also really, really think I like the pink one. I'm going to use pumpkins on this one. I could do the pumpkins, but I don't want it to clash too bad. But I think I might go with something like this, this black and white striped. So let me cut that one. I think that's what I'll use. You know, all this paper is so cute, you know, and I'm guilty of saving my paper. But you know what? You buy it to use it, so you might as well use it and just have a little fun with it. I think I'm going to add the black and white. Hope you're still with me. Just making cards. Just that easy. Yes, I'm using my uh, my one that I still haven't replaced or contacted. And I probably will just end up just getting another one. This one keeps the blades stay much better on this one. Okay, let me fix this. I gotta do it this way. I can have it ready to roll. There we go. There we go. So then, I like to add a strip going across. I might do the top. Now I think that I, I don't know, something about I like the bottom. So let me get the bottom one. I'm just going to cut it. And I'm just going to glue it on. You can add a little bit of another color if you would like. And you know what? I, let me see if, what kind of, if I have any green left. I could add a strip of green under it. And I do. I'm going to add, put some green. And then I'll cut the green. I just love, love, love layering up. You have to admit, it really gives it some beautiful, beautiful um, 
interest. It's just it's just gorgeous. And just making fun little cards like this, as I call them, cut apart cards. You know, um, it's fun. It really is. Okay. Get that one. Let's just trim this off. And there we go. So you want to put a little bit of something like behind it. A strip going across. That's what I'm going to do. And keep putting it on. Make sure. Hey, you know what? I laid that down there. It was pretty straight. Just giving it a press down. And there we go. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. So I really, really, really like this little sign. See how that is? And I thought that that would be super cute. And it, I could have put my made my card portrait. But I really like landscape. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on. But I'm going to cut off some of the stem or the stick. And I think it'll go over here. Kind of like this, I think. So I want to put that there. I pulled out some pumpkins. So since it says pumpkins this way, be cute. Add some of these like behind it. And of course you gotta have a little cute little fun little spider. It's gonna have to sit on it. These would be really cute with some wiggly eyes. Okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna do in this one. I think I'll add this on. it about right here and then I think that this pumpkins that are on the back I'll put them flat and then I'll add some foam tape on the other ones I think I'll put those here and I'll add in these pumpkins here That way it looks like more pumpkins. Okay, so let me grab my foam tape. So I'm thinking that I should put these up on some foam tape. Now, if you're wondering about um, where I got my paper collection from, I got it on scrapbook.com. Um, one of them is called Ghost Town and the other one is called Candy Carnival what it's called. And they're both a doodle bug. See, I'm going to add that there. You don't have to get fancy with your cards for them to turn out so cute. And maybe I'll just cut this one. And I probably will come back tomorrow night and I'll probably make some more. Since tomorrow, can you believe it? Tomorrow is October 1st. Okay. Adding this one. Kind of like this. Isn't that turning out cute? Now I need some kind of greeting up here. So I was thinking about... I like that this is Halloween, and I like the Happy Halloween, this one. That one, is, I could put that one up here. So let me layer that up on some green. I came in my craft room and put something up. My husband probably wondered what happened to me. Then again, he knows. Sometimes when I don't come out for a while, he knows where I'm at. But he's out there watching a man show. And when I say man show, that means like 48 hours or something to that sort. Okay, this can go up here. I'm wondering about... 
I can clean that. Okay, this should be up on foam tape as well. So I hope that you'll pull out your paper, you'll pull out your scraps, you'll pull out what you have and make some fun cards. And um, yeah, I haven't read all the details about net, about World Card Making Day. Maybe you should make cards and send them to like first responders or even just send them to family members. Just make your cards. Okay, I'm gonna put this one up here. Cute. And this little card right here. Let's give him a little piece of foam tape. Put that over here. Cute, cute, cute. Super cute, super easy. Fun little cards, pulling out stuff that you have, pulling out your cut aparts, and look how fast and easy. And now we have some cute cards. This is so cute. I can't wait to come back tomorrow and make some more. So cute, y'all. Pull out your paper and make some cards along with me. Come on, y'all. Make some cards along with me. I think that it will be so much fun. Send them to someone you love. Send them to drop them off at a nursing home. Anything like that would be great. Anything would be great. Anyway, thanks so much for coming and crafting along with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.